Hey guys, it's Miguel Leonardo Edwin. What up? Good afternoon, guys. I am inside one of the seven wonders of the world. This is a mausoleum built by the fifth emperor of the Mughals, Emperor Shah Jahan, for his departed wife, Mum Taj Mahal. Welcome to Taj Mahal. I started my day off by taking the 6 a.m. train from Delhi to Agra. It was just a short two-hour ride. Upon arrival in Agra, we hired a rickshaw and told the driver to take us for a quick breakfast before heading to the Taj Mahal. The driver then brought us to the east entrance gate, which he thought would be best. The entrance ticket costs 1300 per person and it includes a water bottle and a pair of shoe covers. Ta-da! Okay, let's get into the Taj Mahal! We are entering from the East Gate. This is our entrance chip. Forgot to mention that you would need to use this chip again on your way out, so be sure not to lose it. Di India ini bener-bener security-nya ketat banget ya pengamanan. Udah lewat X-ray tasnya masih dibuka satu-satu, jadi X-ray-nya tuh nggak ada kegunaannya sama sekali. Baru bener-bener kita diraba satu badan, depan belakang, samping semuanya diraba pokoknya. Dan banyak sekali barang-barang yang dilarang untuk dibawa masuk ke dalam kompleks Taj Mahal. Jadi sebelum kalian datang ke sini suatu hari nanti, kalian benar-benar wajib tahu peraturannya dulu. Today, New Delhi is the world's most polluted city, but we're still lucky. We are still able to see the Taj Mahal clearly. So yeah, enjoy Taj Mahal. This is the main map of the Taj Mahal complex. This is the east side and this is the west side. We entered from here. There are three gates, the west gate, east gate, and the south gate. And look at all this structure right here. It is completely symmetrical. And this is the main mausoleum. This is Taj Mahal and it is really, really symmetrical with the mosque on the west side and an identical structure facing it. The Taj took over two decades to be fully constructed and there were artisans called from as far as Armenia, Italy, France, and Turkey working on the monument. Over 39 types of semi-precious stones were used in this monument along with 4 tons of gold. Hundreds and even thousands of people gather here today to witness the marvel structure, one of the wonders of the world, Taj Mahal. Such a shame that the water's not running. I believe this is a fountain, but they're not running it. There's no water, it's emptied out. This is a mosque, but I think it's closed. There is no one up there. And this is the main mausoleum. There is a symmetrical and identical building like this on the other side. Let us get inside the mausoleum. We just have to put our shoe covers on.
We are now on the upper level of the Taj Mahal and this is just incredible seeing a structure built in the 16th century and it is this massive, this size Wow, look at all these marbles and the details, they're amazing These are giant marbles and you can find them everywhere in every corner of this giant massive structure and look at the details of those Arabic letters. Wow. And you have to imagine that those Arabic letters and all of these motives were not painted, but they were put in like jigsaw puzzles. These stones are put like bricks, like Legos. So sometimes you can see some interlocking stones right there and that's just pure science I love it this is the mosque I was talking about and that's the other identical building over there but that one is not a mosque okay now we are entering the main mausoleum even the gate the door this is pure marble Unfortunately, we were not allowed to film inside the main mausoleum, but I must say it was beautiful and very well maintained. Once you exit from the mausoleum, you can see this canal that connects to a river and yeah, you can just see some animals. I don't know if those are bulls, but they're just casually bathing in the canal. And on this side, you can see a lot of wildlife animals right there. It's just so beautiful to see. The Taj Mahal incorporates Persian, Ottoman, and Islamic art and traditions. The structure is also aligned in a cardinal north-south direction, and the corners have been positioned so that when one stands in the center, the sun can be seen rising and setting on the north and south corners during the summer and winter solstices. Thanks to the flawless white marble, the building appears to change color depending on the time of day and the weather. This mega structure was built by more than 20,000 workers and artists. And you can imagine, in the 15th, 16th century, there were no machines. And all of these stones were brought here by elephants. All of these marbles, they came in heavy and big. And these were all hand carved. Can you imagine that? This is just pure art. And it's really interesting that these arts can be found all over the world, especially in um, the Mughals and the places that the Mughals have conquered before. It's so interesting that art can travel from places to places even before the 20th century. It took more than 20 years to build this place. And like I said before, this is a mausoleum built for the emperor's deceased wife. And that is the real power of love. You build this massive structure for someone you love. Aww. Wow. The Taj Mahal is a symmetrical structure. So no matter where you look at it, it feels like you're always in the same position. Bayangin betapa banyak kuasa pada abad ke-16 seorang raja bisa membangun tempat semegah ini untuk istri ketiganya, istri kesayangannya Mumtaj Mahal ya dibangun oleh 20.000 tenaga kerja 20 tahun lamanya untuk sang istri tercinta yang meninggal karena 
melahirkan anak ke-14 tapi anaknya yang lewat dari usia balita itu cuma ada 7 jadi bener-bener Taj Mahal ini adalah bentuk dari cinta ya tempat seluas ini, semegah ini dibangun hanya demi satu orang yaitu sang istri tercinta luar biasa gimana mana? what do you think? very good, very artistic tapi mungkin kalau misalnya zaman sekarang too much kali ya tapi keren sih keren mereka mau bangun segede gitu belum ada yang pernah bangun segede itu buat kuburan sih iya yeah. mungkin istrinya juga nggak tahu ya soalnya udah meninggal dan dibangun ini 20 tahun lamanya betul maksudnya kayak untuk membangun segede itu untuk kuburan sih kayaknya too much kali ya cuman mungkin gara-gara sebesar cinta suaminya kepada istrinya yang sudah berkorban dia rela iya yeah dan memakai kekuasaan si raja itu untuk membangun segede nah, gitu. Ini gede banget loh. Ada banget. mungkin 100 meter kali 100 meter lebih apa itunya gedungnya. Iya. iya. Belum tanahnya. Belum tanahnya, belum tinggi yang atas. Jadi benar-benar kayak lagu tulus ya. Betul. Takkan Betul. Pernah, pernah berhenti untuk selalu percaya walau harus menunggu 1000 tahun. Nah, asik. Itu beneran tuh. That is all for Taj Mahal. Until next time, thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.